My name is Dr. Antonio Baines. I'm a PhD scientist at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. I specifically do cancer research. And one of the tools I use every day in the laboratory is the pipette. As a matter of fact, not only me, but scientists all over the world use this tool every day. Now, what is the pipette? Well, the pipette is a tool that's used to collect and release small volumes of liquids. So in many laboratories, like as, as myself, we work with proteins and DNA, and we need small volumes of liquids to mix them in, and the pipette is what we use to do that. And what are the parts of the pipette? We have the end of the pipette, which is where the pipette tip gets added onto the pipette. We have the body of the pipette where you put your hand around to hold it. You have the plunger that goes up and down. And you have the eject button that also goes up and down. You also have a window frame that shows you the volume of liquid that you use for your pipette. The plunger has two friction stops. So if you press down once, that's the first friction stop. You press down again, that's the second friction stop. And that's going to be used to control liquids going in and out of the pipette. Okay. So first, let me put the pipette tip on the pipette to show you how that works. I'm going to press down into the opening of the pipette tip. When you pull your pipette up, you have your pipette tip connected to your pipette. What I'm going to do is I want to take 20 microliters. So this pipette is set for 20 microliters. I want to take 20 microliters of volume from this blue colored uh, liquid and put it into this empty tube. We're going to push down on the plunger to the first friction stop. I'm now going to put my pipette tip into the blue liquid, okay, under the surface. Now, it's important to put it under the surface because if you don't, then you may also draw up air bubbles. I'm going to gradually release my thumb, and that's going to cause suction to occur and draw up 20 microliters. If you notice, that suction holds that liquid in the pipette tip. And now I want to transfer this 20 microliters into this empty tube. So as you can see, there's an empty tube here. I'll open up the lid. And now this is where you're going to use your thumb again, but this time we're not going to stop at the first friction stop. We're going to go all the way down to the second friction stop. And by doing that, that's going to force the liquid out of the pipette tip. And so you put your pipette tip against the walls of the microtube, and by pushing all the way down to the second friction stop, I am releasing all that liquid into this tube. And as you can see, my pipette tip is empty. My microtube has liquid, 20 microliters. And now to get rid of my pipette tip, because I want to use a different pipette tip later, I eject. And so I just push the eject button and that pushes the pipette tip off. Now you try.